The Los Angeles Dodgers won 7-6 last night over the St. Louis Cardinals in Game 1 of this series. Today we break down Game 2, where we have a money-making opportunity on a total. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know who you got in the comment section, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop. We'll be checking those comments, getting back to you guys throughout the night. So we took a tough loss yesterday on our MLB video. Dodgers, first five team total, over two and a half. It dies on the hook. They end up scoring five runs. It was basically Nicholas's best five-inning stretch in a while this season. Of course, Mookie Betts goes on to hit a solo shot to lead off the top of the sixth inning. So that was salt in the wounds. Uh, Dodgers had a chance early on to drive in a runner on second base with only one out. But uh, we're still 8-5 and five on the month of August. We look to bounce back today in the same matchup. we got Los Angeles Dodgers at St. Louis Cardinals first pitch, 7.15 p.m. Eastern from Bush Stadium. It looks like the game will be on TV on Fox. And we got the Dodgers sitting at negative 135 on the money line. Cardinals plus 114. Total sits at 9. We got two struggling right-handed pitchers on the mound in this game. We got Bobby Miller. Just got called up for the Dodgers from AAA. And Andre Palante going for the St. Louis Cardinals. Palante, 4-6 on the year. 4-2-1 ERA, 1.36 on the whip. He's coming off a start where he allowed two runs, one of them, only one of them being earned in five and two-thirds in Kansas City. Not a bad start, but the Cardinals have struggled um, when he's been on the mound. They've lost his five last outings. The last five games he started, the Cardinals have lost, and he struggles at home. His ERA is way higher at home, 5.30 on the ERA, 280 on uh, opponent batting average at home as well. So I think the Dodgers are set up to score some runs again tonight. On the other side of things, we've got Bobby Miller just called up from AAA. He hasn't pitched in the MLB since July 9th. And in his last outing on the 9th, he was hammered by the Philadelphia Phillies. Nine earned runs and only four innings pitched. And he's really, he's actually has a decent, he doesn't have a ton of innings pitched this season. I think like, you know, less than 30. But he's been okay uh, he's been okay at home on the road, though. 12 ERA, like I said, very short innings, but 12 ERA and a 382 opponent aver- uh, opponent batting average. Uh, guys, we still have those seven-day passes uh, for the price of a three-day pass available over at sportsmemo.com. They're only $49. That's the normal cost of a three-day all-access pass. It includes all sports, including 5% plays, which are normally $29 each. Just to put things into perspective, it covers all sports, like I said, will be in action today in uh, NFL preseason, MLB, WNBA, got college football action coming up as well. So there'll be a link to my sports memo page attached in the pinned comment, as always. And I encourage you guys to go check that out. That's a great deal, the seven-day pass. For $49 is one of the best deals that we offer over at Sports Memo. But back to this game, guys. we got got uh, two mediocre bullpens. Neither one has been horrible. Neither one has really shined. They're both kind of middle of the road when you look at the last 30 days. As far as ERA, WHIP, and XFIP. Dodgers, we mentioned this yesterday. They've been a top five team on the season against right-handed pitching. When you look at on-base percentage, WRC+. Plus, they're number two in walk rate against right-handed pitching. And the Cardinals, they don't have the great numbers against right-handed pitchers, but I think they're going to score some runs today against Miller. It looks like the bats came alive. We're going with another over here, guys. Let's go over nine on this game. Hopefully have the same results that we had yesterday. We're going to stay away from those uh, first five overs and just go with full games from now on because look at the Dodgers yesterday. Team total was five and a half for the full game, and they got to seven. But official play for this game, let's go over 9. Like I said, uh, link attached to my sports memo page in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted on X or Twitter at stevesbook22 as well as at sportsmemo.com. If you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button. No video on Sunday like usual, but we'll be back on Monday. Good luck, and I'll see you guys next time.